Here's the county and regional payments. This is for Chicago, which is the dark curve, and for Baltimore. And what you'll see, and I think this is sort of intuitively makes sense, and that is the core counties in the metro areas usually have costs between 5 and 10 percent more than the average of costs in the metro area, while the outer suburban counties have costs that are between 5 and 10 percent less so that if you would pay plans the same amount across the Baltimore area, the Washington area, the Philadelphia area, the, the Chicago area, the plans would have every reason to avoid uh, enrolling individuals in the core counties because their costs are higher and every reason to enroll individuals in the outer counties where their costs are lower. And so this again is, is what we see when we get into averaging that costs by county vary greatly across the country uh, as much as 50 percent and some of you have seen the Dartmouth studies and so this is sort of bringing the Dartmouth studies which tend to be theoretical and descriptive actually into to real life and into payment policies. Here are some examples if you look and this is what you'll see and this is one of the complaints about paying 100 percent fee for service by county. This is on the fee for service side. This doesn't have anything to do with plans. This is what doctors and hospitals billing Medicare traditional fees for service. And you'll see Miami-Dade here over 14,000, uh, Brooklyn 11,000, Houston, Texas about 11,000, LA a little less than 11,000. Uh, those are the high counties. The low cost fee for service counties, Buffalo uh, 7,200, Portland, Oregon 7,300, Sacramento 7,400, and Tucson 8,200. So you can see the variation. And so a plan sort of centric, a plan focused uh, approach to Medicare says, well, these plans are being paid too little and these plans are being paid too much. And so that's where we get into this discussion. And the question is Medicare based on plans or is it really based on beneficiaries and what they cost for services in their area? And of course, the difference here in costs is not, again, based on plans. It's not based on beneficiaries based on providers, mostly uh, as the Dartmouth uh, uh, studies indicate, mostly on physician practice patterns, utilization, particularly utilization of new high cost technology. So if we look at the blend compared to 100 percent, what we see is that Miami-Dade would be paid over $250 million a year less than fee-for-service costs. Uh, Brooklyn, and if we bring all the New York City counties in, it's about $250 million a year in New York City. Houston, 50. Uh, LA, uh, 200 million. So you'll see that paying here, this is just a blend, that counties, and particularly beneficiaries in those counties, would be paid less than uh, to, uh, average fee for service costs. Uh, on the other hand, gainers here, we can see Buffalo, Portland, Sacramento. Uh, and Tucson, where plans would be paid more. One of the most important points is that under Medicare policy all the way back to 82, the funds that would be lost here uh, by the high cost counties are, would, are actually go to the beneficiaries as extra benefits in those counties. So this is really simply cross-subsidizing by taking from the beneficiaries in one set of counties and swinging that uh, funds to the plans and beneficiaries uh, in other counties. In addition to payment changes, and I think this is a little uh, along the line of what uh, uh, Marilyn suggested, and I suspect Vicki may talk about, there are a number of beneficiary provisions that might be considered uh, irrespective of the, of the payment decisions. Limit on benefit packing design, particularly limiting out-of-pocket costs for the older and the sicker individuals. Uh, there are very minimal limits on out-of-pocket costs now by the plans. Stronger policies on marketing advertising to, to prohibit uh, improper misleading advertising and marketing. Uh, a limit on the number of plans by the individual firms in a specific area. Uh, we now, if you look on the Medicare plan finder, you'll find 80, 80 plans and, and you can't possibly understand which plan uh, a parent or someone might join. And then finally, additional data from the plans to support better risk adjustment of payments. That's been suggested for 10 years, and the plans resist because they argue it's too expensive. But clearly, with billions of dollars here at stake, uh, that's a reasonable step. 
So there are some things, again, I think the major issue uh, involving Medicare Advantage uh, does involve payment. Uh, I think people generally understand the $150 million in save, billion in savings is important to financing uh, the benefits generally in uh, health care reform. And so the question gets to be of the various options to move to 100% as a national average, uh, which one uh, is more equitable uh, to beneficiaries all across the country. Thank you.